this is the same thing. It's just not, it's like the people at CERN who are doing this 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 experiment. They they are you know CERN the, the large hadron collider and they're smashing protons together. They're spending spending billions of dollars because it's the most expensive experiment of Europe, apart from Greece. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they do. And they smash protons together and they found the Higgs boson. Amazing. What can we do with the Higgs boson in our modern technology? Nothing at all. It's just knowledge. But the nice thing is, while they are doing this experiment, brilliant inventions come out as simple side effects of the fact that they're working on a difficult problem. One of these side effects, by the simple side effect of CERN, is the World Wide Web. <laughs> Invented at CERN. For the very strange reason that they were a bit too lazy to go to the office in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to go to the office, I will put a line from my computer to their computer. <laughs> they all have German accents there. <laughs> and when we are doing it, we will put a line to America and Japan too, and that's why we have the internet. It is. Another invention, a simple side effect of the problems they were working on at CERN, is the touchscreen you have on your telephone. It was invented at CERN. They didn't call it the touchscreen, they call it the XY Mutual Capacitance screen. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, that's what they call it. And the reason why they needed it was very simple. The machines to control this experiment were becoming so big that there were too many buttons on there. So all these buttons are confusing. I want a small screen with all the buttons. If I need new buttons, I swipe new buttons up here. <laughs> <laughs> Problem is, it does not exist. Brian, go away and invent it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what happened. Brian went away and he came back and he invented it. Ah, oh, this is much easier, this is nicer. We have touch screens because the physicist was too lazy to stretch out his <laughs> The year, by the way, was 1977. They had touch screens at CERN in 1977. They just didn't bother to tell the world. <laughs> we don't care about the world, we are doing an experiment. <laughs> it took 20 years until some marketing guy walked by and went like, <laughs> I can make billions out of this. <laughs> yes, we know you can, but we are not interested. Go away. <laughs> no, come on then, give it to me. I want, I want to sell it, I want to sell it. Okay, here, you can have it, but leave me alone. In fact, come here. You take the screen, okay. You pull the little bird, shoot it at a pig, now go. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I wonder what other problems they have already solved at CERN. And just didn't tell us yet. <laughs> oh, global warming we solved in ages ago. It was too hot in the living room. <laughs> we just spray orange juice over a goat three times a day, everything cools down. <laughs> but go away, we are busy. Did you finish the game? Well, come back then. You take the same color candy, put it on one line, it pops away. 